Bonjour à tous et à toutes, je suis Tenko et je suis ici pour vous présenter l'épisode 4 du Walkthrough de Retour vers le futur. Alors la dernière fois que nous nous, nous étions quittés, j'étais rentré dans l'appartement de Edna Strickland et je cherchais un moyen de, de savoir où Doc est-il est parce qu'apparemment il est en danger. Donc euh, il faut savoir en quelle année il, en quelle année il est parti et... Donc je vais retourner parler à Edna. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue from 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Jim Tanner! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Donc voilà. On apprend au passage que euh, qu'apparemment Biff euh, a une fille qui s'appelle Tiff. Enfin, je suppose que c'est une fille. Don't let me keep you from your business. Donc ce que je vais faire pour en savoir plus, parce qu'on a appris où se trouvait euh, le le bar clandestin avant de brûler. Donc c'est à l'endroit où le vidéo club s'est installé. J'utilise les jumelles. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Donc euh, Edna Strickland ne me, me laissera pas fouiller dans les journaux, mais pourtant je vais en avoir besoin pour savoir quand exactement le bar clandestin a brûlé. Donc, on va activer le radiateur. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. Voilà, on peut supposer qu'elle est à moitié sourde et qu'elle croit que c'est la bouilloire. Pendant ce temps, j'ai le temps de fouiner dans les journaux. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy, singer vanishes, Hill Valley Expo delights crowd, soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley police station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his. Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Au moins, on sait quand est-ce que c'est. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? On va prendre la réplique la plus conne. It's a costume. Uh, tonight's the big uh, Halloween party. Halloween party? In May? Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. 
Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Voilà, donc c'est à moi de faire ce qu'il y a à faire, donc interrupteur du circuit temporel. Time circuits. Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. J'ai plus qu'à rentrer la date. Ok, si Doc va être killed en June 14, 1931, je vais juste show up le jour before et le get him out. J'espère que vous savez ce que vous faites, Doc. J'aime pas quand les temps de chargement bug comme ça. Alors j'espère que ça va pas planter. Et là je le sens mal. Ah non c'est bon. Pfff. Einstein, where do you go now, boy? Excuse me, young man! Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. 
What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... How'd Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Yeah, tell them, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? <laughs> Never mind, I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr... May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Donc là on a le choix entre euh, trois noms et en fait euh, pendant tout le temps on sera dans l'année en l'an 1931 on aura ce, ce pseudonyme là donc je vais choisir Sonny Crockett parce que je trouve que ça sonne bien Sonny Crockett Thank you for sharing your candid opinions Mr Crockett Edna Strickland Hill Valley Herald I know I met you back I mean I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up! Doc. I gotta find Doc. Vous avez vu? It's the law. Look it up. Elle l'a encore dit, même dans le passé. Donc voilà, après cette rencontre avec Edna Strickland, nous allons essayer de trouver Doc. Donc on va pas trop traîner. Ce que je vais faire, c'est que... Je vais visiter... Euh... Je vais visiter rapidement ce bâtiment, et puis on va se quitter après ça, parce que ça fait déjà 12 minutes. Même un peu plus, d'ailleurs. Ah oh, pitié, le temps de chargement qui bug pas pendant 3 heures. Make fly. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid, I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Aw. Uh, now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Voilà, bon encore une fois ça va faire un peu juste donc je vais vous quitter là-dessus. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et je vous dis à bientôt pour l'épisode suivant du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.